Welcome back here to Good Day Las Vegas. Metro Sheriff Joel Lombardo joining us again for the Morning Cup of Joe segment. Good to see you, sir. Good morning, John. So April is uh, Sexual Assault Awareness Month, and the Rape Crisis Center here in the Valley has noted an increase in reports over the past few weeks. What can people do to avoid becoming a victim? One is to uh, be aware of your situations and make sure you do call us if, if you are victimized or you feel you've been victimized. And the most commonality associated with this crime is overconsumption of alcohol and or drugs. Um, com you know what, the opening up of the, the economy and, and nightclubs, starting to see an increase in people and, and everything that goes along with to people looking for victims. It's, I think the important piece for, for people in the community is to be aware of their surroundings and make sure you do everything in a group, if at all possible. Uh, Met, uh, Sheriff, uh, murders in Metro's jurisdiction also up this year compared to the same time last year. Any idea what's behind this increase? Yeah, there's been a 52% increase. So what does 52% mean? If you put, if you quantify it, it's 31 versus 19 year to date. And the most common factor associated with those 31 is domestic violence. And and I've opined on this before. I believe it's to be closely associated with COVID, and unemployment, and and rent, and mortgage payments, and everything else that goes along with life. Um, domestic violence is a big key in that, and that's been the uh, majority of the numbers associated with murders. Um, so the bright light in that is we've had a 97% solvability of all those murders, uh, which has a direct influence on subject behavior, suspect behavior, um, preventing them from continuing the act into the future. Sheriff, another uh, figure that's going up is deadly car crashes uh, here as we start 2021 here in the middle of April or so. Your lieutenants told us he was worried about a spike as things started to open up even more. Uh, is that something that the department is focused on as more businesses open up, restaurants, bars, etc.? So there's three E's in traffic control, education, enforcement, and engineering. And that's how we address the traffic problem. The engineering piece is obviously um, road construction, lights, uh, stop signs, everything that goes along with uh, traffic flow, uh, education is for you to be aware of, of those situations um, in the engineering space. And then uh, enforcement was us, police department, um, writing tickets, doing car stops, and trying to have an effect on people's behavior uh, because everybody's affected by that. It's very rare that you're affected by a violent crime, but traffic is a daily encounter for you. And it's very important for us to keep our uh, pulse on that and that we pay attention to it on a daily basis. Staying safe on the roads. Sheriff Lombardo, thank you again for joining us this morning. We, as always, appreciate it. If you have a question for Sheriff Joe Lombardo, you can submit it over at 8newsnow.com. Find out if it's answered every Wednesday.